There's no sound on this police video, but the ugly story behind it speaks volumes. This arrest, part of a crackdown on a sprawling fraud and sex trafficking network that forced dozens of young women to have sex all day, every day. They are controlled uh, emotionally. Uh, they're controlled through violence, through threats of violence. They're controlled, uh, some with uh, drugs and alcohol. Um, and they're manipulated and uh, psychologically uh, beaten down on a daily basis. Police say the case unraveled after they were contacted by two women from Quebec who say they were lured to Ontario and forced into the sex trade. In the last year, police identified 12 victims at several locations and laid more than 100 human trafficking charges. It may appear that these females that are involved in uh, the sex trade, so to speak, or willing participants, that is not true. We have seen the horrific things that are happening to these, to these women. So I'm Carly. I Carly am Church knows Healy that Worker too well. A survivor of human trafficking, program. she has helped police understand the twisted bond between victim and pimp. She's coming to... Now she works with police in Ontario's Durham region to help victims break free. They are fearful and... They are confused and they're unsure of what next steps are. That fear of the unknown is really real. And who's going to take care of me? Who's going to look after me? Who's going to meet my needs? How am I going to survive without this person? Um, and who is ever going to love me again? Mark Dell was 19 when she was trafficked. Her pimps were people she thought were her friends. Now she has this advice to vulnerable young girls and women. If someone's telling you they love you in the first couple days, if someone's pressuring you to do sexual things or things that you're not comfortable with, that is not love and that's not a real relationship. Police say the investigation is ongoing and believe there are at least 33 other trafficking victims connected to it. They're urging them to come forward with the intent of laying more charges. Joanna Rumeliotis, CBC News, Toronto.